by means of DFT and IDFT determine the response of the FIR filter with impulse response H of n is equal to 5, 6, 7 to the input sequence X of n equal to 1, 2, minus 1, 5 and 6. Find the solution for this. So here response of the FIR filter means that we are supposed to perform the linear convolution between X of n and H of n. That is Y of n is equal to X of n star h of n that is linear convolution between x of n and h of n here the x of n is given that is 1 2 minus 1 for u and 6 let l be the length of x of n which is here 1 2 3 4 for u similarly h of n is given the length that is for u 6 and 7 let the length of this be m which is equal to 3 we know that the length of output sequence of linear convolution that is length of y of n will be the length of these two minus 1 that is for you L plus M minus 1 that is for you plus 3 minus 1 which is equal to 7. So we suppose to perform the linear convolution using DFT and IDFT method. It means that we suppose to perform circular convolution between X of N and H of N that is Y of N is equal to X of N circular convolution with h of n so here we can see that the length of the sequence must be 7 that is n must be equal to 7 therefore now rewrite equate the input sequence x of n and h of n such that the length has become 7 that is therefore x of n is equal to now we are supposed to add m minus 1 zeros to x of n that is m minus 1 zeros means it is 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. So two zeros we are supposed to add to x of n sequence and l minus 1 that is for u minus 1 is equal to 4. Four zeros we are supposed to add to the h of n sequence so that we can see here that the length of x of n and h of n will become 7. So therefore, the new x of n is 1, 2, minus 1, 5, 6, 0, 0. Similarly, we have h of n is equal to 5, 6, 7 and we need to add 4 zeros. So in DFT IDFT method, first we are supposed to perform DFT of X of N. That is, we need to calculate we need to calculate X of K, H of K, the product of X of K and H of K then IDFT of X of K H of K. So now we will try to calculate the DFT of X of N that is X of K. Therefore DFT of X of N is equal to X of K which is given by the formula N is equal to 0 to N minus 1 x of n w n power n k so here n value is 7 so therefore i can write x of k is equal to summation n equal to 0 to 7 minus 1 that is 6 x of n w 7 of n into k expanding this summation i can write it as x of k is equal to x of 0 w7 power 0 plus 
x of 1 for n equal to 1 that is w7 power k plus x of 2 w7 power 2k as n equal to 2 plus x of 3 w7 power 3k plus x of 4 w7 power 4k plus x of pi u w7 power pi u k plus x of 6 w7 power 6k that is 0 to 6. Now we will substitute the values that is x of k is equal to x of 0 is 1 w7 power 0 is 1 that is 1 plus x of 1 value is 2 2 w7 power k x of 2 is minus 1 that is minus w7 power 2k x of 3 is phi u that is phi u into w7 power 3k plus x of 4 is 6 6 w this is 4k for x of phi u is 0 and x of 6 is 0 that is this value is 0 this value is 0 so i will not include this we will call it as equation A. So now similarly, we will try to find H of K. So therefore, DFT of H of N is equal to H of K which is given by summation N equal to 0 to n minus 1 h of n w n power n k so therefore i can write h of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to 6 h of n w 7 power n into k so expanding this summation i can write x of k is equal to so here also we will get the same expression as of this equation that is just x will be replaced by h that is h of 0 w7 of 0 plus h of 1 w7 power k plus h of 2 w7 power 2k plus h of 3 w7 power 3k plus h of 4 w7 power 4k plus h of phi u w7 power phi u k plus h of 6 w7 power 6k so here we can see that h of n values are phi u 6 7 rest all are 0 that is h of n is equal to phi u 6 7 Rest all are 0. That is, it is defined for 0, 1, 2 only. Remaining all are 0. Therefore, now I can write x of k is equal to h of 0 is phi u plus h of 1 is 6 w7 power k plus h of 2 is 7 w7 power 2k for rest all cases the value will be 0 that is for this it will be 0 0 0 for this it will be 0 so we will call it as equation b so now we supposed to multiply that is here we found x of k h of a now we supposed to multiply x of k with h of k that is therefore let y of k is equal to x of k h of k so i can write y of k is equal to x of k is 1 4 k this is x of k and we have h of k is 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन फाइव प्लस सिक्स डब्ल्यू सेवन पावर के प्लस सेवन डब्ल्यू सेवन पावर टू के मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू इट इज आई कैन राइट y of k is equal to now we suppose to multiply this one with all these terms then we'll get the same terms that is 5 u plus 6 w7 power k plus 7 w7 power 2k now we suppose to multiply this term with all these terms that is 2 into 5 u is plus 10 W seven power k two into six is twelve W seven power k and here we have W seven power k that is W seven power two k I can write plus two into seven is fourteen W seven power k plus two k that is three k similarly now we'll multiply the third term. This term with all these terms, I can represent it as minus five u w seven power two k minus six w seven power k w seven power k, and here we have w seven power two k. That is w seven power three k minus seven. W seven power here we have two k and here we have two k that is four k. Similarly, now we'll multiply this five with these all terms. That is five into five is twenty five plus twenty five. Here W seven power three k. W seven power three k plus we have five into six is thirty. W seven power three k plus k that is four k plus five into seven is thirty five. W seven power three k two k that is five k plus. Similarly, now we'll multiply six W seven power four k with all these terms. That is five into six thirty. W seven power four k. We have Thirty six W seven power k plus five four k is five k plus forty two W seven power six k. So now, from this expression, we can add the similar terms. That is here we have W seven power k W seven power k. Therefore, I can write it as y of k is equal to five u plus six plus ten. That is sixteen w seven power k. Similarly, now I'll search w seven power two k. Here we have W seven power two k. So I will write it as plus twelve seven nineteen W seven power two k plus. Similarly, now I can check W seven power three k. Here we have W seven power three k. Here we have W seven power three k. That is, I can represent it as fourteen minus six is eight. Eight plus twenty five is thirty three. W seven power three k. Then we have W seven power four k and W seven power power four k. Here we have W seven power four k. That is minus seven plus thirty is minus 
is 23 23 plus 30 53 w7 power 4k it is this term is done this term is done and this term is done so now the remaining term is this 5k and this 5k that is 35 plus 36 is 71 w7 power 5k plus 42 w7 power 6k so now here just will cross verify is any terms are missing so here one term is missing that is w7 power 2k that is 7 plus 12 19 minus 5 it is 14 supposed to be 14 14 w7 power 2k yes now we'll take the id of t of this that is id of t of y of k is equal to y of n so directly we can write id of t from this equation as y of n is equal to just write the coefficient of this for you so it is for n equal to 1 its coefficient is 16 for n equal to 2 it will be 14 for n equal to 3 it will be 33 for n equal to 4 it will be 53 n equal to 5 it is 71 n equal to 6 it will be 42 so this is y of n which is convolution between x of n and h of n I will try to verify this answer 1 2 minus 1 5 6 now write h of n sequence along vertical that is h of n sequence is given by 5 6 7 all are zeros 5 6 7 0 0 0 0 so now multiply this term with this that is for you for you into 2 is 10 for you into minus 1 is minus 5 it is 25 it is 30 similarly multiply 6 with these all values that is 6 12 minus 6 30 36 similarly multiply 7 with all these values that is 7 14 35 42 now and here we have zero so now we are supposed to add diagonally like this so the first term of y of n is y of n is equal to So here I'll write y of n sequence. Y of n is equal to the first value is for you. Then multiply 10 plus 6 is 16. Then multiply these three val add these three values. That is 19 minus 5 is 14. Then add these all values. It is 25 minus 6 plus 14 is 33. So then add these all values that is 60 minus 3 53 now add these all values it is 35 into 36 is 71 now add these all values so it is 42 rest all values are 0 so we can ignore it now we can compare this result with this result it is same this is how we can calculate the linear convolution using dft and idft method thank you for watching